I just seen like an eye Libra. Eye of Horus. So I'm not sure what the Eye of Horus has to do, but let's see. What's going on for Libra love? From now until whenever. <laughs> What's happening? How to apply to what energy are we in right now with Libra love? Who is refusing to transform themselves or accept change or accept cloudy days? Some of you Libras. It's like y'all want to be on, y'all want to ascend into higher levels financially, mentally, spiritually. But you're in balance. And this is because you're having trouble transforming yourselves when it comes to your relationships and when it comes to love. Okay, the sun is sticking out to me. I didn't want to be like Leo, but we have the sun here, the sun here, the sun here, okay? We got one moon and a little moon right here, but that's not even a real moon. But, and the sun right here, boom! There are four suns, okay. Libra. Someone around you or you have issues transforming in terms of love, accepting duality, embracing duality, accepting duality in yourself and if you can't accept duality in yourself how are you going to expect duality having duality with someone else how are you going to settle in and get right with someone else if you can't even get right within yourself like you're imbalanced right now it's like you're ascending no doubt you're getting these downloads you're listening to your intuition more but when it comes to relationships, when it comes to partnerships, we're in balance. And that is crazy because it is Libra Sun and it's about to be Libra Moon tomorrow. Today is October 3rd. The Libra, the moon goes until Libra October 4th. So this is just like double balance while like um, Libra is in Mercury retrograde. And Mercury retrograde literally covers like <laughs> technical shit. Um transparency relationships clarity okay things that you had trouble getting like clarity with before you're having trouble like you're still getting the downloads but when it comes to relationships it's like i'm saying i'm hearing double ended sword so heavy of course air energy Okay, you could have been seeing 222, that applies to you. You're having trouble shipping illusions. Or you could be, like, masculine energy, honoring your energy. Okay, I'm getting different groups. So, the first energy I feel for some of you guys, if you've been seeing, like, the number 27, or you can be 27. Um, you have this lotus energy here. Um, lotus energy to me symbolizes like the womb, divine feminine energy, yin energy, um, compassion, understanding, and just peace. And someone is robbing you that. There's a divine energy, divine mass, sorry, excuse me. There is a masculine energy. I'm not even going to put divine in front of that. That it could be, um, I'm getting some of you guys either okay with you being fully in your own masculine energy. Or making you believe that you don't have to be in your masculine energy is a lot of conflicting energy here but either way this person is kind of stunting your balance into an ascension because whatever they're doing is kind of manipulative almost i'm feeling like and this person could also be kind of imbalancing you because they're giving you one type of perception about them when it's really not even that um, or this person for another group of you could also be having issues changing when it comes to love. So maybe you guys have like two different points of view when it comes to love languages. This person can have issues stripping illusions around them.
poorly, but some of you guys are just really refusing to like see through the bullshit when it comes to love. It's like you keep letting someone talk you off a damn cliff. Like you're not you're not supposed to technically jump off a cliff because obviously that would uh equal something bad. But you still kind of they got that charm, I guess. Some of you guys are gonna be going on a like retreat soon, vacay, mini weekend vacay to find out, pamper yourself, honoring your own energy in a way so you can go through this process of transformation. You want that growth, you crave that growth, you just keep, I hear it like, how can I grow in this area? Like I have everything going for me, but I just can't grow in this area it's because there may not be any trust um, and I'm hearing in another group, there may not be any trust. I just seem like the cross again, sword. I'm also getting bumblebee energy. I've been getting a lot of bumblebee energy and like a crescent moon. What is this symbol I keep seeing right here? It's here, and then I see it here. This moon symbol. I'm going to find it and I'm going to put it in this video when I do find it. Inner journey. Yeah, Libra. You cannot grow unless you get to the bottom of like what's wrong with you when it comes to like relationships. Like what do you really want in a relationship? You're putting out the wrong energy as of what you want like what you truly want it's like whatever you want you feel like you can't tell or talk about it because it's maybe you're like a romantic gush you know what i'm saying and like people around you like if you were to talk about how you are in a, like a relationship like you were really like a romantic they'd be like oh ill yeah like you want this ascension you want growth i'm here for some of you guys like you definitely have to get into your divine feminine energy so this week i want you libra fat like uh, libra feminines and masculines too to kind of dive into your feminine energy as much as you can even if it's like you got work it's like still find a, a way to kind of balance yourself from working too hard like You have to go within to find out. I got 22 here with the transformation in reverse and like inner journey here with 33. It's like you're having melts, you're having trouble manifesting because you can't, you're having trouble looking within of how you can change in a relationship. You have to go do that shadow work, Libra. For real, you gotta do that shadow work. All right, guys, I'm not really getting too much. This is just like straight to the damn gut. Very weird. A lot of different energy I'm not trying to pick up on because a lot of it's kind of just like a. There we go. Self pity. Libra, what was me? It's like some Libras here watching this. And me, it's not. Maybe it's me. Maybe I don't realize it now. But it's definitely something that takes reflecting. So. I'm going to leave this here. Thanks so much for tuning in, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Check out my shop. Email me for a personal reading. I'm open in, um, in October. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.